welcome back to another edition of Action Figure Imagery Tour Reviews. Today we're having a look at Dungeons and Dragons Diana figure. Now, Dungeons and Dragons is on a roll uh, in this early portion of 2023. You got these new action figures. I'm not just speaking about the action figures, but the movie too that comes out this month. Came, I'm sorry, came out last month in March. I think it was March when it came in. Um, the, the movie, you got the new movie, and you got these new figures. And this figure line right here is uh, based on the cartoon figures. And this character right here is known, as you can see, is known as Diana. And this is the packaging. This is the outer artwork. And this is exactly how she looked in a Dungeons and Dragons cartoon from long, many years ago, many, many years ago, back in the uh, 1980s. Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Uh, these two characters are also were also part of the cartoon Hank and Bobby. And then here's Diana with her um, pole that she uses for fighting with an acrobatics. I'm not sure what this thing is right here. We'll get to that in a bit once I open the packaging. There's the bottom. You can see the um, barcode and then more packaging. Package art on the side. I'm not sure about who that dragon is, neither. And Diana also has a little bio on the side. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to do my best so you can see that. Um, it says, Diana is known for her acrobatic talents and carries a javelin that can launch her right into the air. Uh, can you see that? I'm not sure. I'll try to do my best to make sure you can see it. Okay, that's... The little bio and the rest of it is in foreign language. The way they got it made is kind of awkward uh, to get it because of the way the way the packaging is made. Okay, now you've seen the outside. Of, you've seen the packaging, folks. Now let's take a look at Diana. Open up the packaging. Okay, folks. Here's Diana out of the packaging, and as you see, she has one of her. Um, pole vault accessories with her. It's the same <coughs> weapon, excuse me, but um, this time with effects. Matter of fact, I think I'll go over the accessories first before I go over the figure. Um, this is one of the weapons. This is, uh, well, this is really the, this is, these two are really the same items. The regular rod and the rod with the uh, special effects. You know how when someone swings a sword and it creates that um, a sword or a bat or whatever, a baseball bat or whatever, and see how it's making that, uh, like it's an extra, uh, okay, this is like it's an extra blur, you know, when you swing a sword. Well, that's what this is right here. This is not, it's not, you're not getting two weapons. It's supposed to be the same, these two are supposed to be the same weapon, weapons. But this is supposed to be this with the effects, like when she's swinging her rod, and this is, you know, the blur you get, the good for toy photography, that's what that is. Um, and those, these are the two rods, they're plain, there's no special designs on the rods, just a plain green rod. But uh, these are in a cartoon, and I haven't, uh, I don't, haven't seen a cartoon in a long time, so... This little ball right here, you'll get a better look at this in the slideshow. I don't know what this is, but uh, looks like it's a fun item to have, though. it got all these numbers on it. I'm not sure what they mean. Um, 11, 13, 5, 15, 12, 10, 8, 16, I think I said 16, 1, number, number 4, all those different numbers, number 2, all those different numbers I'm sorry, on this, but you see it, it's kind of like a marble. You can kind of play with it a little bit. And those are all the accessories she comes with. And here's Diana, the figure herself. A close look at her face, up close to the camera. All right, and you'll get a better look in the slideshow. The rest of the figure. And articulation, I also started with articulation, hit movement, downward hit movement like that, upward hit movement, <clears throat> upward hit movement isn't, is barely, is really non-existent, just, you see, I, 
barely get her hit to go up, but definitely have, has a left and right hit movement. Um, down to the arms, um, there's no pivot at the shoulder. There is a pivot articulation at the elbow. You can bend it like that. <coughs> you can also swivel it, swivel at the elbow, and a swivel at the wrist. Um, you got somewhat of a right here is articulation right here, uh, diaphragm frame. Not an ab crunch, but diaphragm frame, and you can also twist and turn her right there at the top like that. Down to the knees, legs rather. There is no uh, upper thigh articulation, but there is knee articulation right there, and you bend the knee like that. As for movement around the boot, top of the boot, let's see. Yes, you do. You can turn and twist the boot that way. There's articulation right here. And as for this boot right here, this foot rather, yes, you can bend the foot back like that. So, decent points of articulation. Not the best articulation, but pretty decent points of articulation. And pretty cool figure, too, for a cartoon figure. Realistic looking attire, like the gold. And everything looks uh, pretty nice how they did this figure for a cartoon figure. And you see the cartoonish looking eyes instead of the realistic looking eyes. And this back of the figure, side of the figure, the boots. And if you want to uh, make her hold her weapon, either way you can. You can make her hold her weapon, uh, Diana hold her weapon, either with one hand or with two hands. If you want to put her in she can hold it either way with two-handed fighting pose or one-handed fighting pose. And as on the packaging, the packaging says she uses it as a, like a javelin pose to catapult herself. And she's a very acrobatic character. Um, I haven't seen this cartoon since I was a kid, so I don't, I can't say too much about it. Um, it's a very old cartoon from the um, mid 1980s, I think. Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Okay, now let's uh, have a look at Diana. That's all the Pacifics I can go to right now, live on video. Now let's have a look at Diana in a slideshow. Okay, folks, here's Diana as she is seen when you purchase her in the store in the packaging. You see on the outside of the box everything she comes with, and there's a side view of her bio as we get a closer look at the bio with the camera and you can pause the video if you want to try to read that Diana is known for her acrobatic talents and carries a javelin that can launch her high into the air and there's the figure right there without any of her weapons profile view of the character and you see an up close version of the character uh, as you can see these are the cartoon versions of the Dungeon and Dragon characters. Excuse me, sorry about the sneeze. And there's a back view of the character. I was trying to hold back a sneeze, sorry about that. Good job on her hair, even though uh, did a real excellent job on these action figures. Uh, even though they're not real, real they're not based on real people, and there she is with her rod. That's a good job, even though it's cartoon based, but very good job. And as you can see, she is a little over five inches tall, but way under six inches tall. So she, but she is a little bit taller than five inches. And there I have her in like a holding her rod with a like in a battle pose, as if she's getting ready to go into battle and fight. And there she is with a two-handed uh, pose with her rod, holding her rod with two hands instead of one. It's up to you on how you wanted to, how you want to pose her with her rod. There's another angle with her rod. You want to pose her holding the rod with two hands or pose with one hand, whichever you prefer. You have the options, and there she is with the rod that got the special effects to it with the uh, swinging action. And there are those rods again. There's all the accessories she comes with. I apologize for the flash from my camera. 
I need to work on taking better pictures and there's that uh, marble like object again with the numbers on it I'm not familiar with what that is I have to go back and look at that old cartoon and there she is next to a movie character from this year's movie Dungeons and Dragons Holga which I reviewed earlier on this channel by the way there's the back of uh, the Dungeons and Dragons card with Diana and two other characters Bobby and Hank on the back They're action figures also and there's a side view cartoon art of Diana with her rod and you see that dragon in the background that's it for this video folks everyone I hope you enjoyed this video and everyone have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video